Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. The final stage is here. Known as the Dark Stage. <clears throat> Don't know why I stuttered there, but uh, there we go. <laughs> and needless to say, it is dark. <laughs> and it's got both the super fast kinds of enemies, like these fish things. They're so weird and so silly, but I just can't help but love something so weird and silly. Weird and silly is my forte, in case you didn't realize that. <laughs> Uh, they also take two hits to destroy, that's pretty interesting. Wait, what does that thing in the middle there do? It just seems to be some sort of blocker? I have no idea what the heck that was. <laughs> um, what does that do? Oh, it turns on the lights! Uh, needless to say, because it's the dark stage, the darkness is the stage gimmick. Oh, and this is kind of dangerous, actually. I almost trapped myself in the corner there because of those soft blocks. Wait, 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 I have to... Yeah, I can't just willy-nilly go around and hit certain switches randomly without much forethought. Uh, great music in this stage, by the way, if I didn't mention that. <laughs> and that's the first stage, I guess. That was pretty dang easy, but it was the intro stage, so. And I haven't died yet, I can't believe this. This is unbelievable, really, seriously. <laughs> Like Bomberman 1, I've never been able to beat Bomberman 2 without dying, so this could very well be another first. <laughs> now, what what do these things do? Oh, they're mines! Okay, I just had to test that out, just to see what the heck they were. Oh, there's a heart, thank you. That recovers that heart that I just lost via those mines. Yeah, that's... Wow, that, that guy is really hyper. <laughs> um... Do I want... Oh, yeah, I have to go around and... Yeah, I have to put that thing into place. One of these platforms that aren't the platform. And what am I even blasting these walls for? I can just go like this because of my wall walk ability. <laughs> I have to do this one at a time, though. That's okay. Wait, I, I want that to be like that because I want to put a bomb in the middle and blast them both. Oh, and I also noticed that those little fishy guys, they're affected by the light negatively, and, well, that works in my favor, I should say, so it's positively, actually. Um, when the lights are on, they become quite slow, I completely forgot about that. And there's the kick power-up in action, by the way, if you didn't see that, just walk into a bomb to use the kick. Yeah. Alright, gotta take care of the mine. Uh, oh, I have to switch those, switch those. I don't know what's the point of that platform there. Wait, am I missing something? Am I? Oh, here. There we go. <laughs> no, I don't want to turn the lights off. There we go. <laughs> the lights will probably be off on the next stage anyway. I just wanted to turn them on for the sake of, you know, having everything complete when I beat the stage. Such energetic music, you gotta love it. And there's a DJ guy over there with... <laughs> Just bobbing his head up and down happily. Okay, he's not really a DJ guy. No, I don't want that. No, no. Wait, did I just run over a mine that I didn't see? Was that? Huh? I didn't... Did you... What did I take a hit there from? Was there actually a mine there that I didn't see? Or? Oh, I see those guys zap. That's their little special power there. Okay, I definitely want to turn on the lights because I'm, something's telling me that I am missing out on something here because I, I took a hit from something that I thought wasn't there. <laughs> mm, this is kind of a risky area. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Gotta be careful here that I don't get trapped by him. Alright, good. He seems to be pretty good at avoiding bomb blasts, unless he is... No, he doesn't avoid bomb blasts. <laughs> oh, and notice that there's cracks in the floor like that when you walk over certain spots. Yeah, you see that the cracks turn into uh, holes when you walk over them twice. Yeah, that, that's how those things work. Wait, what? What was that? Oh, there's hidden mines you gotta be careful of. I see. They only show up when you are one square away from them. Aha! So it wasn't my fault with the lights not being on. It was just the fact that I was being way too aggressive. I did not know about those mines. Well, I probably did know about those mines back when I played this game religiously, but 
I forgot about them, I should say. Oh, no! Evil breath mints, and I ran into a mine. <laughs> I finally lost the life, so that's kind of special. Alright, so I know there's one there. I gotta be a lot more careful now. So, oh, I, they don't even, I mean, it goes right through those mines when I blast them. Interesting. It, oh, there's another one there. That's really diabolical, actually. <laughs> okay, which way are you going? You're going to go that way. I'm going to plop one there to move you over there. And then I'm going to do this. And that did not work because he did not see my bomb. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, <laughs> come on. Why am I not pay paying attention to everything at once? That is going to be my undoing. <laughs> at least those super power breath mints down there are very much out of the way because they're... Wait, what? What the? Why, why did he turn around there? That was kind of weird. Did you see that? The Pac-Man guy just turned around and... Hmm. Oh. So there's one there, one there. I'm being a little bit too aggressive again and just walking into something that could kill me. <laughs> like that. Dang it, what's wrong with me? One square at a time, PK Gam. One square at a time. Alright, calm down. Wait, do I still have my... No, I don't have my glove power up. I need the glove to beat the final boss. But you can find the glove in stage 5-7. It's nice that I got the uh, remote control power up right away, though. Because that'll be I'll, I'll be... I'll be able to make short work of the Pac-Man guys. Maybe those are Miss Pac-Man because, you know, they're pink. I'm just trying to make, you know, a log logical explanation of it. I did the same thing again! What's wrong with me? Jeez! <laughs> well, at least I know the remote control is in this stage. Which is really helpful. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Wait, I did not want to do that, did I? <laughs> Oh, that was so lucky! <laughs> Why did I think I shouldn't have went down there? I mean, it's a complete circle, but I can go all the way around it. Okay. Blast him! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I really have to be more careful here when I go around the, these things. Come on, care. Okay, I just want to make sure that everything is cleared out so I don't accidentally run into something again. Ah, oh, remote control! Okay, I know that's there. I know there's one that's going to kill me on the other side, right here. I'm not going to die to that again. <laughs> um, just look at me nudging through this really carefully now. No, 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 no. Ain't going to happen, Breath Mint. Ain't going to happen. No. Okay, now if I put one here, it'll play all the switches. There, good. Invisible mine. That's bad. <laughs> uh, I'm. Oh, I was gonna say I'm missing something. That's why I looked around that area, but I, I didn't notice that there was this switch that was off over there. And yeah, I knew that 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 mine was over there, but from before, surprisingly, I remembered. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> well, at least I have five lives to uh, finish this game with. With hopefully no game over. Oh. <laughs> I lost my remote control again. Well, and maybe it's not 5-7 that has the um, remote control. Maybe it's 5-6, because 5-7, I believe, is the boss stage. Yeah, oh, this guy up there. What if I turn on the lights? What's, what is turning... Oh, turning on the lights makes those little red guys hyper. I see. Extra life. Hello there. Mine! Hello there! <laughs> That's a quick way to lose your extra life quickly. Those mines are by far the most dangerous part of this dang stage. I mean, the, the most dangerous part of this world. Ice cream cone? Will I, will I get another extra life if I blast that? Yes, I will! Wow! That is... That is awfully generous! <laughs> okay, blast that. Well, as long as I have that extra life right at the beginning of the stage, it's like... Well, what does it matter if I die or, or not now? Because I'll always be able to get that extra life. There's going to be a mine there, right? Yes. Okay, there's one in between each of those two. So I'm going to have to blast them with two bombs apiece. This would go a lot faster if I still had my remote control. But alas, I was being too hasty again. There's going to be a mine there. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. 
doesn't matter if I cough now because this is just a methodical moving situation here one section at a time this is taking forever oh jeez <laughs> look luckily there's only one more that I see over there <sighs> wow I mean this is like ultra tedious All right, no, well not, once I get done with these platforms, I really don't want to restart the stage from the beginning again. And you know what I'm going to do? Because those red guys are so super fast and hyper, I'm going to do this. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Much better. Just want to make sure I don't get blasted by a mine. Carefully nudge my way through here just to check everything. There is one here. Alright, that cleared the area. Uh, I need... Do I need both platforms? I may... You know, I may not. I'm just gonna take care of... I'm gonna move this one all the way over there right away. I'd, I'd like to make myself a little more room, basically, to prevent myself from being cornered by something. That's my intent here with uh, the platforms. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if the lights are on at this point. You can see, I can see. Let's let's stop the charade here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be doing two platforms at a time now. Just see, it'll save a little more time. Delightful. And then I'm gonna clear out the soft blocks at the bottom, just to hopefully give myself a better chance at not getting cornered. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have taken that bomb then over there because, yeah. Okay, you try and eat by bomb and fail. Good! Thank you for listening to me. And... Will that go through the fire? No, it won't. I don't need the fire anyway. It was just a matter of testing it to see... I think they'll... Oh, they take two hits when they're in uh, low aggression mode, when, when the lights are out like that. So that's... So I guess maybe it would, it would be a slight benefit to have the lights back on, but... Uh, I don't know. They're, they're just so hyper. <laughs> Do not touch me, please. Thank you. I'm gonna probably end up turning on those switches one at a time. Or maybe not. I'll probably just, like, multitask by putting one right in the center there and then turning this one back off. Good. And that should open a door. I think. Oh, no, it doesn't quite yet. Okay, I need this soft block to respawn. If it ever does. Or does it really matter? Because I'm going to have to put two bombs here anyway. Yeah, because this is going to turn those off. And then when I do this, it's going to turn them back on. <laughs> so I'm just going to alternate between these two here. And one more time. Which will hit this switch as well. Voila. Yep. Woo! I am a happy little power man. <laughs> Five, six, let's go. Yeah, I think this is the one that has the um, remote control power up. I could be wrong though. This one has a lot of blocking holes, so I should be really careful, as well as invisible mines. Just clear out each line with a bomb blast if I can. Oh, jeez. I don't know why I'm bothering to go through this section here. I guess just to give myself a little more room and to fill up things for the sake of filling it up. <laughs> How many of these... Okay, I'm gonna put doop doop and blast them all at once. Uh, I want to... Do I want to go all the way around to hit that light switch or do I want to... I probably want to hit the light switch because what I'd have to do is I'd have to get a platform over there to bridge the gap early. Or maybe not. <laughs> Fishy, why are you so aggressive? Um, ooh. Yeah, because what, what my plan was was to move one of those platforms either up into there or go through that hole there and, you know, fill one of those holes too. I just want to make sure that there's no more invisible mines that are going to that are gonna kill me. Because, you know, I don't like to die in games. <laughs> As much as it seems that I, you know, have a good time when I die and I laugh at my deaths, I, I don't go for it <laughs> on purpose. Oh, man. I don't like the fact that there's 
cracked floor screwing with me here because that could actually cause me to get trapped with my own explosion or a mine or something like that. There is no mines in this area, seriously? Okay then. <laughs> I guess I can't complain at that. And it looks like the only reason to go down there is to hit that light switch. Maybe just for the sake of, you know, seeing what the heck is all in this level, I'm gonna move that platform over there. Just for the heck of it, as I said. Because otherwise that, that area at the left there, or well, upper left of the screen that you see right now, is seemingly useless. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to... Oh wait, I should actually move it one square back down and... Yeah, I should do this. Whoa! I did not know that crack was there. That could have been a catastrophe. If I didn't notice that that crack was there at all. You know, and I made the crack crack. Um, I'm going to just hit them. Maybe there's like an extra life or something in this area. Which is the reason why they would want you to come here. Or maybe it's just for that light switch. I don't know. But that respawning soft block is kind of annoying. <laughs> what if I hit that? That one block over there. There is an extra life there. It is worth coming here. It is worth coming here. <laughs> Alright, now I can move on. Did I want to make those guys all hyper? I don't know. Wow, they're really hyper. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put a bomb there just to block them in right away. Yeah, that's good. Oh my god. Oh, so they don't... They always take two hits to destroy no matter... Whoa, no matter what. Oh, jeez. Okay, you come down here. You're a lot more dangerous up there when you can turn corners and be all unpredictable. Eh. Whoa, there's mines there. I, I wasn't paying attention to any sort of mines. That is really bad on my part. Oh, the door opened. The door opened. Okay. And I still need the glove, don't I? I believe this is the last stage of the level. Oh, my. Okay, I gotta think this one through here. This puzzle right here. Um... I wanna move this one over. Like so. Just like that. And now, move this one over square. Cause this one at the corner here is pretty much stuck doing nothing no matter what I do. It could be used, you know, to, like, bridge a gap, I suppose. I, I just want to be really, really careful here in case of any mines. <laughs> There's the glove that I'm looking for. Yes, I do need that to finish the game, so grab that. Well, you need that to finish the game, too, so what am I saying? Just I. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I think I got all the mines. Yeah! Five, seven, start! Boss time. And you don't need the glove for this battle here. You need it for um, something for a... Oh, he can actually... Do that, does that go through? No, it doesn't go through blocks. Those are some ugly colored explosions. It's like puke green. <laughs> okay, so he can throw his bombs, I suppose. It's not really all that helpful. Um, to him. Whoa! I, I protected myself there with a bomb in case you didn't realize that. What? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I guess that is pretty helpful. Whoa! I guess it's nice that he can knock my powers right out of me, but that's not very helpful in the battle because seven squares is plenty. <laughs> Whoa! I'm going to try and lead him away from me. Yeah! I can't move, I can't move, don't touch me, don't touch me, Ah! Uh, uh. Oh, you just phased right through me. <laughs> Alright, now, I gotta hopefully beat this boss without losing, you know, dying and losing my glove. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to purposefully game over. Wait, wait, can I... Can I do this again? If I can do that again, I would be... Oh my god, I can actually do that again! Holy poopers! Oh, and those skulls, those skulls only home in on you when you're when you're near them. They eventually disappear after a while, but but they really get in your way. <laughs> Wait, can I like? Uh, yeah, explosions will work. I'm just gonna throw them on the side of him. Oh wow, this is 
This is unbelievably broken. <laughs> yeah, you have to get the glove. Well, not, not for this boss. I'm talking about for the next boss after this one. I wonder how many hits he takes. Uh, oh, there goes one arm. No, oh, don't follow me, Skull Guy. No! Do not kill me. I can't lose my glove. Otherwise, I'm going to have to restart everything from the beginning. Well, you know, I'm going to have to forcefully get a game over. But still, that's not everything. But I mean, I'm going to have to restart at least stage six with all those annoying mines. And I refuse to do that. <laughs> Hello, I might not have a choice if those skulls get in my- Oh yeah, I think you go right through bombs! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh, that's- That's a really, really big problem. <laughs> At least they're disappearing nice and fast. Oh, please do not hurt me. I'm begging you not to hurt me. Eh. It looks like he only charges for me when he sees me. There goes the other arm. Oh, those skulls are by far the most dangerous part of this battle. Uh, don't come anywhere near me. I'm not even going to bother going near those things because... Oh! I'm glad I had a heart. <laughs> wow. Oh, he destroyed my bomb. Or I should say he va vaporized my bomb. Oh, that could have been a catastrophe. Ugh. Stop charging towards me and die like a man. Or a cyborg. One of the two. <laughs> oh, I hate those skulls so much. They're so freaking aggressive and unpredictable. <laughs> Alright. It's looking okay, I suppose. Oh, how many hits? No, I died! I can't believe it! Does that mean that I lose my... Uh, glove power up as well, because then that means I, I have to game over and... Wait, wait, this, it starts me here? Does that mean... Can I get a glove from this area? Because I might actually be, be able to avoid getting a game over then. Oh, you can. Good, 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 good. <laughs> I was a little worried about that, that I would have to restart everything from the beginning. That would really, really suck. <laughs> hmm got a lot of power in these very ugly bomb blasts. <laughs> oh, nope. I don't think so. Ah! <laughs> don't knock my um, glove out of me. That would be terrible. Alright, and I don't really care about get that bomb over there. I don't need eight bombs for the final boss. I mean, jeez. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I got myself a heart again, and I got myself the glove. You know what? I should stop the recording just for a second, please. Hold on. All right, I'm ready to go. Let's try this again. And now that I have the remote control bombs, this is going to make things a whole lot easier, aside from those annoying little skulls there, because you, they, they are completely impervious to anything. Ah, but still, that that was a one-sided fight. <laughs> Oh, this, this boss is a toughie, that's for sure. I'm a little worried now, actually. But, since I can get the remote control and the glove from this area, I should say from this boss fight area here, I don't really have that much to worry about, I suppose, because I'll be able to manipulate the timing of things. No, 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 absolutely not. I'm taking that remote control, even if it's risky. <laughs> I still... Yeah, I have the glove. Good. Oh! Whoa! Please don't tell me I lost the glove. I lost the glove, so I'm gonna have to do that. <laughs> I was wondering what I lost there, so I tried to pick up a bomb. Yep, I couldn't pick up a bomb. <sighs> okay, you absolutely have to have the glove. Otherwise, you're screwed. <laughs> Come on, glove and remote control. Need the glove and remote control. There's the remote control, and I got the glove. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> that was one-sided. Just like when I lost to the big baddie boss on the, yeah, the one that's coming up here. Alright. Well, now that I have the remote control, I can hit him pretty much any time that I want to. I don't have to wait for the bombs to explode at all, so it should go a lot smoother. Well, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be able to do stuff like that. 
and yeah, I don't think those skulls really go after you unless they see you. <gasps> or maybe not. Maybe they do just wander around randomly here. Hmm, I'm, I'm not sure actually. But he he is a quite large and threatening guy, I have to say. <laughs> One arm down because of good old remote control bombs. Just go so quickly. No. Don't. You. Dare. <laughs> yeah, he dares anyway, I suppose. But I, I guess that's what bosses do. Whoa! No. No, no, no! It'd also be nice to have a heart, too. <laughs> you know, I'll be able to keep that heart for most of the battle. All right, gonna get myself a heart, a glove, ow. <laughs> There's the heart. No. Well, looks like I lost the heart and lost the life. Wow, that was a really good move he did there. <laughs> wow, this final boss section is brutal. I kind of like it though. <laughs> Stop throwing bombs all over the place, though. That's kind of very deadly. <laughs> There's the heart. There's the glove. Gotta get. No, no, no. I not. No. <laughs> Alright. Just. I bet you the remote control is under that last one. I'll just grab it now. There it is. Good. Because the, the same items appear in every stage, in case you didn't notice that. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> eh. Aww. <laughs> Just trying to trap him, so to speak. Yep. Dang it. It's hard to predict what he's going to be doing because of how fast... Oh, I should say because of how quickly he turns around and stuff like that. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh! At least I didn't lose- oh, they, he doesn't hurt you when they touch you? Oh my. <laughs> I could have swore they, that the bombers hurt you when they touch you. I was I was avoiding them the entire game because I thought they hurt you when they touch you, and why don't they hurt you, but, enem but normal enemies hurt you when they touch you? It doesn't make much sense, does it? <laughs> Alright, no more train wrecks. I'm fully powered up this time. No holding back, even though I wasn't holding back at all anyway. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take him down like no one has ever taken him down before. <laughs> Luckily those skulls don't stay forever, that would be terrible if they like kept stacking and then there was a whole screen full of skulls. <laughs> that would be devastating, man. Devastating! Alright... Good. I shouldn't get too close to the top of the screen, because that charge, when he gets, when he sees you, is pretty fast. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, oh, curses! Ah, Jesus! Ah. Yeah, that charge is by far, I mean, because he, he sort of restricts you to the bottom line of, uh, you know, movement down there. Because otherwise, if you're too far up, he could charge right into you, and yeah, you get the idea. And then you see he corners you like that. Ugh. Such a pain. Ugh! <laughs> Such a tough boss. Oh, you, you just erased my bomb there. Curses. <laughs> but close to defeating him, I think. He doesn't have any arms left. I mean, come on. <laughs> You'd think that someone with no arms would be pretty easy to beat, but that is not the case because those arms are useless. It's his charges and skulls that are, that are the problems. Yeah, like, what What are the points of having those arms on that machine anyway? If they don't... Oh! It's done! Yes! Woo! But not quite. <laughs> this is what you need the, the glove for. Shake? Sure! Ah! And the real final boss is known as General Ganzu, and he's probably the guy that orchestrated this whole thing, but there's not really much onto him, like, to begin with. But he's kind of aggressive in that he moves around randomly, but all you have to do is throw bombs at him to hurt him, and the 
fa uh, the more damage he takes, the more, I mean, the faster he moves. But otherwise, his only attack seems to be the fact that he can move around like that. But, like, move around unpredictably like that. I don't think there's any other way that he attacks you. Or at least I don't remember him attacking you any other way. But otherwise, just throw bombs until he's down. And I cannot die, dang it. I've come too far. <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of showing everything to prove that I'm not cheating because, you know, I'm on an emulator and I could be using save states for all you know. <laughs> That's why I'm doing things all in real time. Alright. Come on, just a little more. No, 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 no. Ugh. Can he hit you in corners? I don't know if he can hit you in corners. I don't want to test that. <laughs> oh, why is he so hit hard to hit now? Why does he have to be so squiggly, squirmy? Oh, is that it? Is that it? No, it's not it. Dang it. I'm I'm so tense right now. Seriously, I've come so far and he's actually dead. He's really dead that I beat the game. I think I beat the game. I beat the game. No! <laughs> run, Bomberman, run. There's no more wings of the ship to go to. You've blown them all off. <laughs> And thus, everyone dies, and that's how the game ends. No, that's not how it ends. <laughs> Don't worry, Bomberman is safe. He's protected in his spacesuit-like thing. Although he is a robot, so I guess he doesn't need oxygen in the slightest. And yes, I beat the game. I was so nervous. So scared. <laughs> but it all worked out in the end, because I was able to do it. And yeah, that General Ganzu guy there is, as I said, probably the guy that, you know, set this all up. Because it seemed like that Plasma Bomber was a good sport in his defeat. He was like, I'm going to shake your hand. Going to be, you know, rivals from now on. Friendly rivals. But no! The General Ganzu wanted nothing of that. And he shot him right in the back. This little snake. Urgh! And... Yeah, that's it for the game. <laughs> that's all the game really explains via the storyline there, and I don't want to go, uh, go into any more of the ca uh, characters' backstories than I have to. I should say that are explained in the game's booklet and whatnot and stuff like that, because, you know, this is the time period that the game was released, and there wasn't all that much information on these characters. Uh, but they do, I mean, but they are recurring characters in future Bomberman games. <clears throat> and yeah, I didn't make the game, Hudson Soft did, I just made the walkthrough. I always say that because, you know, it's what I do. <laughs> I just make the walkthrough to entertain as well as help people. And looks like Bomberman has fallen all the way down to Earth in a skydiving pose of cuteness. And you know what, you gotta wonder, where... Do they pack all these bombs anyway? I mean, the bombs are almost as large as the Bombermen themselves, yet they clearly have an unlimited supply of bombs, and they're able to... Uh, I don't know. I probably shouldn't be questioning the game logic. Well, well, maybe they're like Pokeballs or something like that, that they can shrink them into their pockets or something like that, and, you know, they're like little tiny peas or something like... Well, yeah, that's all. <laughs> I don't think I can click away from this screen. I'm, yeah, I can't click, so I'm, I'm gonna have to stop here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I start the battle mode! Yeah!